all right guys so in this video um i've been wanting to do it in a um for a while i will do this one with my laptop um type your email address or phone number then follow the instructions so offline account so yeah so all i've done is You're put my um an offline account but i wanted this. to make sure so yeah so all i've done is put my um internet um router information all stuff um and then we're gonna do uh we're gonna name it hp gaming i will be doing one of these with the gpd um i'll probably just uh get a um use one of my extra ssds and just do it like that so i don't have to delete like everything permanently um i'm gonna call it hp gaming okay. so just click next you don't have to put a password so yeah so I'm gonna basically do how I set it up. Um, I always decline Cortana, uh, stuff like that. So I've been wanting to do this video for a while. I did a, my earlier videos, if you go back to like, I'm talking about nine months ago, 10 months ago, you will see that I was doing um, GPD Quake videos on tutorial, how I got my GPD but um, to like work. But this, you could take it to your GPD Win 1, Win 2. Um, everything they're trying to ask you, just no, 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 no. Don't take nothing they, they want you to activate um and then i'm gonna show you how to like uh you know basically how i set um all my computers up guys um for gaming whether it's my alienware or you know everything else just no don't share nothing with it um we're gonna keep it as off grid as possible you basically um don't the only reason i put internet in here even was just to update everything and then after that this computer is going to be mostly used either offline to get better performance, airplane mode, stuff like that. But whenever you're playing a game that that internet, then that's okay. But we're gonna keep it as minimal as possible, guys. Um, just to get the better performance. I am a little bit uh, crowded in here. Um, I have to, to like, I keep banging my thing, so sorry if I um make a a lot of noise with that. I got my little hat, so we're ready to go, guys. All right. So we're waiting for that. It should take a couple minutes, but yeah so what we're gonna do in this video for you guys um that are coming in i'm gonna do uh activate god mode um which is just easier to manage stuff it doesn't really give you more benefits besides just having all of it um more uh accessible easy so that um we're gonna mess with the settings to make it better performance um and then i'm gonna show you like all the clients that i use throughout all my computers for low spec gaming or free games so you're gonna either get lots of free games through the stuff that i do or um games that run on low specs that are really fun um so we're gonna do all that i am gonna keep um my alien uh my uh gpd next to me so that i don't forget any of the stuff that i want to do also um i was able to get to where's my little this is my little um container where i keep all my codes it's literally like uh yeah i literally keep my codes in a, in a safe so all right so um i've been hold on so i'm gonna flip it upside down but all right so i did print out i don't know if you can see but yes i did print out um I did print out uh, some codes. I'm still doing, I think, one more batch. I did get the Green Man Gaming bundle collection, like all the Green Man Gaming stuff, because uh, they had another bundle. So it's going to be Fanatical, um, Humble Bundle, and uh, Green Man Gaming um, giveaways uh, So for Steam code. So stay tuned to that too, just in case you don't have a library but want to build one. Remember, if you don't have a PC or anything, you could always download the Steam app on your phone or tablet. Just download the Steam app, not the Steam link. That's different. That's to like to stream. So even if you don't have a computer um, or nothing, just download the Steam um, app on any device and you'd be able to redeem the codes that I give you. Make a free, the account is free. So it's easy for you to um, make an account. All right, so the first thing I do is go to night night. Want to go night night? <laughs> Oops, sorry, I spelled it wrong. All right, so I'm not a fast typer, so forgive me, guys. But yeah, so um, even if you don't have an account, 
versus Steam, you can make one. Even if you don't have a computer to play these games, that doesn't mean you can't win. Um, anybody could win the, the codes that I'm going to do. I'm going to be giving them out through Steam. Now, for Steam, you will have to have some type of, a, like, I think, $5 account to be able to add me on Steam. But even if you just created a Steam account, you'd still be able to win some codes on Discord um, so that you could uh, at least build up your library that way. To add to friends, though, um, I found out the hard way that, uh, so, all right. So, what I do is Chrome. Uh, I don't do none of the document stuff, but if you know you need document, because I have my own um, paid uh, document apps, but any of these are good. Um, I also do uh, Team Viewer. I always install. So um, in here, Discord, of course, I do Discord. But if you do Skype and stuff, just you know do that. Um, but the ones that I mostly use is easily Chrome on any computer. Team Viewer easily. Um, Chris, um, he's always uh, using Team Viewer um, on this computer. He he gets access to this computer, and that's how he plays his uh, GeForce Now games. And um, he has a very good experience. So I recommend Team Viewer because um, you know that's that's what we use it for. <laughs> I use it to let people use my Steam um, my GeForce Now account, you know, or their account if they have one um through that and just let them let them be all right so we download steam here because i don't like downloading from the main app because a lot of bootloadware and all that stuff um i don't do online storage i have a nas drive that i use for all my computers so you um you can enable that um separately so you could do this one for free storage if you don't have a hard drive but if you do have a hard drive there's easier ways where you could just have your hard drive sitting connected to your router i have a uh, i don't know the name of it let me grab it sorry um so yeah so in my house i use two routers one of them is this one right it's a really cool uh really cool router um i use this one and then the one that that this one's downstairs um with all my other gaming stuff but the one that's behind me is like a 60 dollar one also so i use both um, for this room right here, the closest one to me is that one, like right behind the monitor, um, right behind the TV. I mean, so yeah. All right, so Steam. I always do all the run times. Um, don't know when you're gonna need them. Okay, so if you wanna try to do like uh, music and stuff like that, voiceovers. Um, I recommend this one right here. Um, there's a uh, X Chair and um, Green Shot. Those are uh, good for screen capturing and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, so you want to take a look at these if you don't know what they are Then just go to Google highlight what the names are type it in. Oh, okay. I might be able to use that Okay, I need an editor um, Also note um, Evernote is good for taking notes stuff like that. So a lot of these um, tools are really helpful Sorry, so I picked the ones that I want I'm gonna try to keep it as like bloat bloat like bloatless basically so I just um and then just run it um, instead of saving. If you if it gives you the option just to run it, then just run it because you don't need to um, save the files unless you're gonna like back it up to another computer or stuff like that, flash drive. If you're gonna archive, then save. If not, then just that, all right. So with that out the way, the next thing I do is God mode. Wait, sorry. Activate God mode in Windows 10. So yeah, so um, yeah guys, okay, see? just real simple you copy that um go here that's installing you go open up a new so that's going to install by itself and you don't have to do nothing after that besides close it so all right so now we're going to create a folder um we copied the little link right here hold on so we copied this god mode all the way up to here where the line is you don't copy the dot right so you copy everything right before the dot and then you create a folder and then you paste it and then you click and then there okay so then right after this we have file explorer if you got any more questions about this I could do separate videos individually focused on just these um, again I already did it before but I can make them more um like live you know um all right so the first thing i do is i go here and now mind you if you want to take um notes on this you can um 
and you could always go back and do it your own order or skip some of these um, if you don't understand it or don't really want to so another thing I do is change view because I want I want to have a better experience while I'm setting everything up I want everything to go smoothly so another thing I do right after I activate um, God mode I do this for better performance so that way I could open and close apps more easier you know stuff like that you know it'll pop up faster stuff like that so that's what that does all right so next thing I do is let's open that up hopefully you guys can see all right so the next thing I do is I go to privacy and um yeah if you got um tips that could help please leave comments in the um whether I talked about it already or showed it if you got um tips that you want to write down in the comment section guys write it down be free to write down help each other out guys all right so disable background apps all right so I disable that you could also disable like way more stuff but it's up to you like uh, location camera microphone that might be stuff for you um you know that you might feel like it's useful now if you record your gameplay through this then you keep it on but if you're not going to be capturing um game um like you, you know if you're not going to be capturing game uh screenshots uh video voice stuff like that or broadcasting or anything like that then disable this guys for right now i'm gonna leave it on but if you wanted to just all the ones that say on and off you disable it so that one would be one and this one would be right here too if it wants to oh, okay that's the lowest okay so yeah so b2 right there and then you could disable broadcasting three you know just disable the main ones hold on did the capture did all right come on for audio broadcasting off game mode i would recommend you keep it on but you could disable that but if you're not capturing broadcasting or taking um pictures or videos of the stuff then just turn those off guys um all right so the next thing is settings we're gonna go to settings storage right hold up yeah, no, let me go back hold up all right so settings storage i click something by accident all right so we're gonna turn that on and then how to free up space and you see right here you can leave it for um you know only do it when it's low but I, I like to do it every day um once a day i keep downloads never because um for instance let's say um you download a couple of uh games or files programs stuff you know and uh downloads you should delete manually basically so i leave that one for never but everything else i leave it for um day hey give me a second so yeah so i keep that for days um for every day whatever um so yeah so right here we're gonna do this as soon as it lets us no all right i might have to change the screen ratio because i've noticed that everything's like like too pushed in um so yeah so hold on, let me go it says it's at the recommended one but it does not look uh too user friendly right here all right i'm trying to wait until it lets me go down all right we'll come back to that because um yeah for some reason it doesn't want to uh let me let me mess with that so all right so for devices you don't really have to do nothing in here but if you want to set up a printer then i would do that um and oh another thing i do is if you're working on a laptop you could do it also if you doing it on a desktop but mostly for like um gpd win one win two or a laptop um of any sort um, I always go to solid colors. So for not themes, hold on back. Give me a second. Okay, so instead of picture, I put solid color, and then I go for themes dark. Go all the way down. Hold up. Was it screen lock? Hold on. Give me a second, guys. I'm over here trying to like look at this. This is not um. So yeah. So what I like to do is, I feel like some of the stuff is getting cut off. Settings cutting it off. Um not letting me 
not let me go all the way down. Maybe it's the stupid mouse. Um, give me a second, guys. Yeah, usually this works a lot smoother. Alright, let me just close some stuff then. I'll open it back up. Alright, so we finished with this. Alright, let's try that again. So, solid color, black, colors. Oh, okay, there it is, see? It wasn't letting me, guys. So, alright, so, there. I always recommend this. Change it to dark. Um, Your battery should last longer. Um, I've always had it in dark. Um, If you don't like it when it's too dark, then you can leave it light, but... This right here should help you with battery life if you're not plugged in. I usually play plugged in as much as I can until I can't, then I unplug it. All right, so now that we did that, I'm gonna show you guys the power setting. We're gonna go right here. I don't know if you saw that, hold on. So right here, right click, Windows Mobility Center. It says HP recommended save um power saving. You could leave it at HP recommended. It will still give you decent performance, but we're trying to get the best performance out of it. So we're gonna change that to high performance and then close it. Now, um sometimes when you unplug the battery on some computers, not every computer, um the settings will not be synced while it's plugged in, plugged off. So I always check, I unplug it if it's a laptop or a handheld PC, just in case because um, in some devices it doesn't um, change it all right so then we'll go power settings now is in um high performance right here then we'll go to change advanced just to look at it um you could change stuff if you want but um everybody's gonna be different but main stuff I'm looking for is um, maximum on both battery and without battery so like I said what I recommend is keep it plugged in until you can't have it plugged in then you unplug it and if you're finding that you're gonna need extra battery life, then just change the settings real quick, um, and then put them back when you're plugged in, um, or just you know put it on battery. You know what I mean? So yeah. So like, let's say if um, I was gonna go somewhere and I needed extra battery life, then you want to put balanced or battery saving. Um, you're not gonna get the best performance if you do that, but it will at least work. Now, for um, lid um, closed action, if you're gonna um, connect this to your TV like let's say you want to connect this to your TV and dock it then I would recommend that you put for when plugged in because you'll probably be connected to a TV you'll put it where it does nothing so that way when you do this and close it you can still be able to play your games use a controller wired wireless a laptop has a lot of ports and then that way you can still play without the screen being in your way um you could put it under like the TV stand or whatever so that's one option for you to get like some retro emulation um, going on on your TV. So you could just do the um, delayed option right there. So um, and then like if you do want to turn it off or go to sleep, usually what I do is like for instance, hold on. So what I do is I personally like to put do not um do nothing for the lid, and then I apply right because whether it's battery or not battery right. When I close it and open it, it'll be available. And if I need it to turn off, you just keep the power button where you just press the button. I'm not gonna press it, but the breath, the button's right here. So you press the button, and then that's how it goes to sleep. If you don't, if you don't want it to stay on when you close the lid, but it's a really good option to change if you're planning on closing it and docking it, or closing it and having it that finish downloading whatever you wanted it to download. Um, cause sometimes it only downloads when the screen is on, um, depending on what you're doing. Um, so yeah, so processor should be at, all right, on battery 5% maximum. So that's really good. Now for Mac, um, for on battery maximum, you don't have to keep that. Um, I mean for, uh, on battery, like you could put it a little bit higher where minimum processing state is a little bit higher. Um, just so that you get better performance, you could put it to either 50 um, 95, 100, whatever. Um, so you could change that around um, depending on what computer you're using and stuff like that and what you're using it for. Now, for apps, let's jump in. I like using Chrome. So once we download Chrome, I don't use Microsoft Office, but each his own. Um, 
Another thing I like changing is uh, arrange icons automatically. All right. Um, another thing before we jump into that, I like to go to Task Manager and this is a deleted, um, this ain't a fresh install, but I would recommend that when you do this would be a fresh install. I just factory reset the hard drive, everything, you know, just to make it simple. But I recommend I, um, doing, a, uh, if it's a laptop, especially do a fresh install and then just download the drivers that you need afterwards. Um, so all right so yeah all this just disable it um then you enable whatever you feel like you need afterwards um and then once we're done with all this um you know downloading installing all that stuff just um restart the computer and you should be always good all right so task bar settings well, i like i personally like to do this on gpd win one and win two i like to do um automatically hide task bar in desktop mode if you're using tablet mode you can do it right here if you use both just do it here then it'll um, automatically hide the taskbar so but I like to do it only for taskbar you know I don't really use my GPD and stuff like that but if for your laptop what it would do is it would allow it to hide so it'll look bigger especially if you're doing a windowed game you won't see this this won't be like visible so it would just look like that now this how it would look if you just hide desktop icons see real clean hey guys welcome so you see his real real clean setup right there it's all black it looks like the computer's off but it's really not you just have this hidden so for handheld devices like the gpd win win 2 perfect or the pocket if you got the pocket gpd pocket that one's good too i like to do it on all my devices even my alienware has it just because i don't like looking at these all the time you know uh, sometimes it's distracting you know it just, it just looks visually i like it better like this all right so um there's a couple of uh different clients um i'm not logging in but first off is bethesda you could just look up bethesda um boom.net right there you're good to go download the client hello guys sorry thing crashed oh i didn't know what it was All right, guys. Now we're back. Okay. So, um, yeah. Sorry to hear that. Um, your computer's uh, your internet is trash. Um, I could help you get that internet running. Um, yeah. Um, if your internet uh like constantly logs you out or stops work, like if it works and then it just keeps crashing, I'd recommend um disconnecting it more often. Um, restarting it and not only um, helps you prevent you from getting hacked but um, it overwhelming the uh, router so disconnect it for a few minutes you don't have to do it for much um, I usually do it for like like a, a shower session or something or like a meal session let's say if you're not gonna use the TV or like run out to the car real quick by the time you disconnect it and connect it and come back you should be good um, or even like a quick unplug and plug is better than not ever unplugging it so all right so we got epic games epic games also has free games so bethesda epic games we already have steam because we did night night um itch.io i'm not gonna do them alphabetically but itch.io has a uh, a lot of uh different um indie games and a lot of free ones guys um i have a video where i showed how to get all the free games faster than just going back and forth back and forth because there's a little trick to how to get all the games faster um like copy and paste basically on um, what you're doing all right so then we got battle net hey battle.net so then we got battle.net we got um you play if you're into that kind of stuff <laughs> um you ubisoft ain't bad um they they do give out a lot of games um you gotta be on the hunt for them but they do give out free games um all right so uh oh origin um there's also i think it's called uh 
something drive. Hold on. I'm gonna need assistance from my GPD. There's too many clients. Um. Okay, there it is. Um. So yeah. So that's a D2D drive. All right. So D2D drive. Gotta get my typing skills up, guys. Sure. Uh, I don't know if that's it. Nope, I don't think that's it. Oh, plus drive. All right. I think it's called direct to drive or something like that. direct to drive guys sorry i was like what do they stand for again all right so they have a client um we could download it in their page um they're basically just a store but they have a client so it's useful um if you buy games from there um you, that one is optional the rest of them i do recommend because they have um first party games but direct to games is op optional if you use their their stuff um at, oh good old games can't forget about them they sell everything drm free um and they also do giveaways so even if you just even if you don't have a single game for none of these guys um bethesda has free games epic games has free games itch.io has tons of free games um they might have the nest celeste you know um for free and you could enjoy it you know they have a lot of shovelware and then a lot of good games that are free so i recommend that blizzard has a lot of great free games um, you play. Um, they do give out a lot of games. Origin. Um, and Gog. What else? Oh, uh, Big Fish. <laughs> don't laugh, guys. Don't laugh. I laughed because you know I'm goofy. But yeah, Big Fish Games. Um, it's another uh, gaming client for, and especially for low spec PCs, they have a lot of uh cool games um for all types of ages um they're mostly like for kids or um you know women but they do got they do got some games that i i would play and then i've played my favorite one is the chicken one the um shooting chicken whatever i forgot what it's called but that game is hilarious um oh then you got magic the gathering arena which is its own client um so you could just download the um the launcher um then you got of course league of legends guys league of legends is awesome uh and it runs good on low spec systems also because it's optimized um then you got uh what's the name of the other one um i think it's dauntless hold on dauntless. i think it's dauntless if i'm not mistaken Yep, play playdauntless.com. Um and then of course we already have Discord guys, so don't forget that you could also game on Discord. They have free games, Warframe, uh just to name a few. Um oh I deleted the other one. Alright. But yeah, there's Dauntless, uh Play Dauntless. Um there's also oh game session. So game session they um recently had a gangster or something giveaway uh forgot what it's called um ormeta city of gangsters all right so game session um you play their game for like five minutes um like they still i think they still actually have the giveaway where you right here i'll show you so yeah so and they do have a lot of games for trials so like you could just play the trial session so this one if you play for five minutes is yours you make a free account um and then you're good to go but there's a couple other games that they give you like trials so like better than a demo but um you get to play it um and then what else guys all right so nvidia um if you're trying to download nvidia geforce now oops sorry suck at typing guys my bad Um, 
Nope. Redownload. Nope. I meant to type in redownload. So yeah, redownload guys. So I'm doing this live. Hey, welcome guys. Um so yeah, so I'm doing this um so yeah, so if you want to download uh NVIDIA GeForce now, just go here. If you got a PC, do it for PC. If you got a Mac, do it for Mac. Don't know why you would do the shield on this unless you're using the um NVIDIA Shield TV, but mm, I don't know. Um so yeah, so you got that. Uh what else? Um oh rainway guys. Don't forget about Rainway. Now, if you don't know Rainway, I made a video on um, Rainway for two hours, a live stream. First time I tried it out, it was awesome. Um, so it works on 10-bit, uh, 64, um, Windows 10, 64-bit systems, right? They're um, actually doing beta um, signups for Xbox One, Xbox One S, and Xbox One X. So, um... I, I believe you just pay uh, nineteen dollars for the developer, um, you know, an enabling developer on Xbox side. Not for them; they're not charging you nineteen dollars. Xbox charges around nineteen dollars for you to be able to use developer options and beta testing, all that stuff. And then on um, Rainway, if you sign up, uh, they got the Discord. Um, Andrew, you just go to his page on how to talk to them and stuff like that. They get in contact with you ASAP, guys. Um, that you'll get a fast reply if you want to get into their beta testing for their Xbox, which is awesome. So let's say if you want, you got your Xbox with you, and you want to play your PC games and stuff like that from your home. You got your PC on your home in your home, and then you're somewhere else with your Xbox, either in the living room or across the country in Japan or wherever. You'd be able to access your games from your computer, from Wayneway with your GPD. So for instance. If I have my um, Alienware, I got my Alienware behind me. So let's say if I'm at McDonald's or Starbucks or something and I want to access my Alienware, I just launch this. So you install it. Um, this is this is what you need on the other end of the computers, but I'm going to show you how it works. And then the way that you access it, hold on, let me go right here. Okay. Okay, I had it ready. So the way you access it is you go to the website on Chrome. I made a video about it with more detail um because right now I'm just doing it live. So play Rainway. So yeah, so you just Google play Rainway. Uh, that domain um I accidentally clicked something that I wasn't supposed to. But yeah, you just um Google play Rainway. And then um, you could be able to access it basically. So there it is. So yeah, so you just do plain runway, and you could. Um, so yeah, so basically, it just lets you play your PC games or somebody else's PC games if you are logged in. If they log you into the account or something, you'd be able to remote access a computer from Google Chrome. Um, specifically so it's, you download the app on your computer and then you stream it through there so recommend that now another thing is shadow if you don't have showbox um shadow has a very uh I put show down all right sorry guys so yeah so shadow has a uh, deal for I think $35 um no commitment for you to be able to play PC games um, for a month, if you want to um, sign up for their like commitment plan, you save five bucks a month. So that's another option for you to do um, for gaming. Um, what else? All right, so we got those. What else? Itch. Oh, Twitch. So Twitch. If you got Amazon Prime and you link your Twitch account with Amazon Prime, you automatically get free games every month, DLC, um, loot boxes, especially loot boxes. Um, like this month, I was able to get a lot of um, a lot of games. Like you know, right here, this is all the stuff that they gave out this month. Um, 
and this is just one month worth and sometimes they just throw in some extra stuff just cuz um so yeah so you got you know if you play a lot of these games and most of the loot boxes are for free games or for games that most people have so um that's pretty good cool um so yeah what else um we got big fish uh game session epics battle.net blizzard um oh okay so now if you're into the um emu scene then you know there's that um uh for like you know the emulators and stuff that's what you would want to use um google is your friend guys um for for everything um so yeah so there's also playstation now that's another thing i recommend you guys to do there's um which i actually um enjoy i did a uh, playstation now um on my gpd win um for i tried it for like a year on um, my because i signed up for like the whole year but i think i only posted like one video of it which kind of sucked um <laughs> I, I wasn't doing much of uh, video i was playing too much and not doing enough video but yeah they have uh try it now so i think you try it for like a week for free and then um you can subscribe so let me see if they still have that seven day trial all right so they have the seven day trial guys so if you got access to a credit card that you got permission for um sign up for seven days and as soon as you sign up cancel so that you still get your seven days but you're saying that you don't want to do more than seven days so you could subscribe and then immediately cancel and you still get to keep your seven day trial so i would try that um another there was one more um yeah so basically all the streaming services in some form are team viewer if you, if you know what you're doing um rainway shadow geforce now and the, um so geforce now you should know how that works if not then um you basically get access to the nvidia grid which is now called geforce now but originally it was the nvidia um grid um so yeah then you got rainway for streaming so these two are cloud-based so nvidia geforce now is cloud-based shadow is cloud-based um rainway accesses your computer or a computer that you have access to because you're linked through the um browser and through the application so just go in the, the site they're really good and then to get in contact with them is very easy they're very responsive guys um i really like um how they work up their uh you know the whole company um it's really good um so for what else there was another there was another one. um parasite i always forget about them obviously i can't spell their name oh parasite there i think it's like that i'm pretty sure it was like that um does somebody know how to spell it or anything <laughs> I don't use the other this. I, I'm pretty sure. Oh, Parsec. Sorry. See, I said Parasite. Look at look at me. Um, yeah, I uh, haven't actually. I should uh, subscribe to their thingy. I have Shadow for a month, um, which I don't know how much time I have left on it. I have um, Nvidia Shield, um, GeForce Now. I use Rainway. Rainway is free for now. I don't know if they're ever gonna charge, but they're free you're using your own computer to to remote access so i believe they're going to be free and they're having like i said the xbox one beta so that's awesome um parsec i'll have to look more into it but i'm trying to see if the prices are good um i think they charge by like hour like 20 hours service and stuff like that so all right so yeah so parsec um download i gotta download that on my um shield i mean my um nvidia uh, GPD, sorry guys. I need to drink and take a break. Um, all right, what else? Itch, Discord. You could download, you know, like MSI, Afterburner, stuff like that. Um, for you know, if your computer is compatible with it, or I like to do um Afterburner just to do the um like your um performance and your frames. So I recommend downloading it. Um, for that, even if you you know you won't be able to do much with the overclocking and stuff, if you're look um using a, a low spec system, so Afterburner and uh, go to uh, the settings and switches so that you could be able to use that and uh, Rune. Uh, what is it called? Uh, hold on, give me a second, guys. 
Reba Tuner um, statistics server. So with those two, you'd be able to get your um, frames and um, like CPU usage, all that good stuff. So, all right. Um, another thing is, let me see. Um, of wraps, of course. Many of these you're gonna know, guys. Um, my brother personally uses OBS for his um recording. If you have an Nvidia um Shield graphics card then um they do have an update where it's more optimized you get like 42 percent better performance on an nvidia graphics card um i don't know if it's on newer cards older cards or both but that sounds really good so so yeah so streamlabs um what else uh um if you have an elgato the elgato um, you could do it on the GPD low spec. So if I could do it on the GPD Win 1 and Win 2, then the Elgato capture thing will work in there. Um, you know, if you want to go that route, if you don't want to do OBS. Um, this is using an Intel, so you could do Intel. Um, extreme tuning. Uh, what else? Okay, now we're gonna talk about for Steam. So for Steam, there's borderless gaming for certain games that don't have the full, um, let me see if I can show you images of the game, or the app. So you got borderless gaming, that I recommend. Um, and of course, PlayStation 4 Remote Play. If you have a PS4, why not? use your little laptop especially if you for desktop you're probably gonna be using your playstation if you're sitting on a computer but if you're just on your laptop in the kitchen or something and want to access your um ps4 that's another app i recommend um let me look at the comments real quick oh specs that's a good question actually on this computer um this one is i just um use like my weakest computer um but for this computer, this computer has enough specs to be able to do NVIDIA GeForce now. So, like, you know, you got an i3. This is literally, like, the lowest spec. Well, actually, it has a little bit more RAM than most computers, but um, for the budget. So, it has 6 gigs of RAM, but 5.8 is usable. Um, and then, yeah, that's it. So, and it's at um, 2.3. So that's not bad. Um, that's for this computer. Um, so yeah, so I'm putting, um, you know, the, the GPD is a little bit too small, so um, and harder to type, so that's why I did this. But um, the way I'm doing it would work, and I would recommend on any computer for this. Um, what else? Give me a second, guys. Looking through my um. My things i wanted to do a live stream just in case people have questions or stuff like that so but yeah um i like to take a time to thank chris bryce ellie gitsy um dj um tamil and uh d3 for joining the the chats i appreciate it guys um some of you i wasn't able to read your messages on time and it's only letting me go back so far but i appreciate it guys um so yeah so those are ma mainly the stuff that i recommend um um trying to see there's like way more stuff that i do but it's, i'm like i should have wrote them down <laughs> i thought i had it um memorized oh, okay that's another thing all right so the main thing is also one of the more important things is I have an HP computer, so HP drivers, all right? So since I'm using a HP computer, you wanna go to your drivers. So you're using a laptop. Let's try to recognize it. All right, so we'll be doing that. Um, also, another thing is since I'm also using a Intel processor, then we also do that. So, for example, you'd be like, yes, yes, sure. All right, so that's gonna do that. 
Did, did it start downloading? All right, so we started downloading the driver stuff for it. Um, so yeah, so you go to Intel if you're using Intel. If you have AMD, then look up AMD. So where is it? Support drivers automatically find. So yeah, so make sure you got your drivers, guys. No matter whether you're using a laptop, um, desktop, uh, handheld PC, um, always do your drivers, guys. So the download. These I'll actually download because I actually need these in here. Um, the other stuff I'll kind of um, download after this video. Um, that's why I did this video because I was going to factory reset anyways, but might as well just do a live stream. And um, If you got any recommendations of what stuff that you think I should do or want to name a few or things that you feel I'm doing wrong, it's okay. Let me know. And uh, hopefully the video didn't crash like earlier because earlier I had a crash. So all right. So so yes, once the drivers are installed, then we go to the next thing. And it gives me a little bit of time to see what else to do. Yeah, oh, one um, other thing while that installs. Okay, guys, if you don't already have it on your low spec on um, PC or high end PC or GPD or anything, um, launch box. Now I have um two uh two I have one account for me and um a uh, second one because I I didn't know that you could like just put them on through all your computers so I bought two licenses for the whole lifetime like lifetime you know licenses um don't do that <laughs> one is enough guys um yeah unless you want to get two separate ones you know one for you one for somebody else but you know if it's just for you and all your computers you only need one license and you could just put it on as many computers as you own um, on your home um, computers or handhelds so yeah so definitely recommend this um they've done so much like at first it was like okay really cool concept really good i was like okay this is really good this is a good option but then you know because you back you had like a uh, hyperspin you got so many options for front end um but oh man the newest updates man i'm like this is going on every single one on my pc like at first i only had one hard drive but now launchbox is on each one of my pcs each one with a different build um because at first i was like i'm just gonna do it portably but guys is if you got five pcs you could either set up one launchbox on that hard drive or in each pc have a separate build of launchbox depending on your specs um really cool recommend it um you could do the free trial thingy but if you want to do the big box i recommend do the lifetime warranty thingy i mean the not the lifetime warranty the lifetime um access thingy whatever get access to big box basically um really cool they updated so much like every week or two you'll see a new update um there's so much community support for it like you could build your own um themes your own uh wheels all that stuff so you're into retro games and emulation that's a must that and retro arch is a must have on your computer if you're trying to do some um retro emulation all right so hyperspin is another option i personally think that it's too complicated for you to do like initials and stuff but if you're more tech savvy than that then hyperspin is also a good option um what else i feel like i'm missing something okay so for shopping guys for shopping for games humble bundle like I literally spend a lot of money on this, but I save so much, guys. And this is how I'm able to do um giveaways. So I am subscribed for two years because I bought the two years for hundred dollars or something like or something like that. It was like uh one year ninety nine ninety nine dollars. So I took that. I bought it twice. Um, so I got two years out of that. And then um, so I'm I'm good for two years without having to pay for the monthly thing. But yeah, so 
all the bundles that are game related or computer science or robot I buy I skip the comics oh sorry I skip the comics I'm using 20 um, different buttons here that keeps clicking since um, I don't have much space to move around alright but yeah so I mostly buy bundles here um, occasionally I'll buy games that are like really good sale because I get 10% off on top of that so for certain games that are like you see like this is 50% off um, 50% off so if you have the um, membership then it would be like 80% off 60% off 60% off um, even that even though that game is not on sale you get 10% off of that so it'll be $90 instead of 99 on any game that's not a bundle bundles you get money back when um, you get like either 5% or 10% um, depending on whether you want to donate the um, the whole thing or you get five percent back so you either donate five um something like that but yeah you, um i've been using it for so long but sad that i don't know how, how that works but yeah i bought a lot of stuff there so yeah but they do um give um money to charity a lot so that's really good um and you get to pick your own charity so for instance um if you go to support uh, charities um, to name a few, um, I personally use um, St. Jude's, uh, but there's these other ones. Um, oh, Make-A-Wish, that's another good option right there too. So yeah, so they have a lot of good um, charity stuff and they're always adding new charities for you to pick your own. So you, it doesn't just go to like some random charity you never heard of. Um, so yeah, so it could either be for um, cancer, uh, um, or other different, you know, like HIV or something, you know, um, or just like a gamers um, charity or something like that. So you got like a lot. See, Games Aid, Make a Wish. You got American Red right Cross, uh, Save the Child, the Children. I mean, so you got a lot of stuff. Um, so I think even wildlife, um, because WWF is for the wildlife thingy. That's why it's now WWE for wrestling. All right, so, um, so yeah, you got those. Oh, you got Green Man Gaming. Like I said, I bought like um six hundred dollars worth of games the other day. Um, for only like forty dollars, I didn't spend six hundred dollars on games, guys. Um, but I got six hundred dollars worth of games on Green Man Gaming because I'm gonna show you the stuff that I bought. Um, so yeah, so I gotta manually handwrite them so that I know who's gonna get what code or just archive it because um going to the internet is kind of annoying um so i always write them i always archive them in a in like a paper or something um all right so i got i got all of them um you know but i got that so these are the games that came in it so these are some of the so if you're wondering what kind of games i'm going to be doing on the giveaway if you're watching this or watch this later on these are the games that are going to be submitted for winning um, and then some of these are doubles, so you might have like three of these because also Fanatical has similar games or the identical games on their bundles added because, you know, um, sometimes they just do like like Humble Bundle, Green Man Gaming, and Fanatical will have different bundles, but like some of these games would be like in each bundle. So, it, you know, all right, so you got those. I'm going to try to do it as slow as I can. Probably have some fast readers out there, so we're just today. So, yeah, so these are some of the games that are gonna be in most of these I got. So like I only I literally only redeem like one out of ten games, which is sad for myself because I already owned them. So yeah, some of these except oh I, long story short except for the ones that were out of stock, um because I did it like I think a day late. You know I was busy, so I didn't even do the fanatical thingy on time. But um, they always come back. I added to wish list because they always come back. They'll be out for like a day or two, and then you always come back. So if you ever wanted to buy a bundle from here, don't worry. They always bring their bundles back. I remember one time I was about to cry, but they brought the bundle back like a week later, and I was like, oh, okay. So maybe I don't have to stress. So I don't stress no more about Green Man Gaming. Humble Bundle is different though. Humble Bundle, if you miss the bundle, you'll probably wait a year before you see that bundle again. Green Man Gaming, Fanatical, they'll bring the bundles right back. They'll keep recycling bundles, so keep that in mind, guys. Humble Bundle um, does not recycle bundles that that often, 
um especially the same kind like they might have like the bundle 19 20 or bundle this year 2019 2018 but it won't be the same but green man gaming fanatical recommend it even if they're out of stock just add to wish list and as soon as they come back in stock which they will um you'll get them all right so um that also i was um able to get i got those i think it was like three out of stock bundles one of them i wasn't really too sad about because i already literally had like all of these um so that's another one that was out of stock but i added to wish list and so once it comes back up i'll get I, like i said i got like i got seriously like 10 copies of um injustice batman stuff like that so um this bundle and this bundle i think i bought like four times by accident one time because like i bought it and then it came out again in green man gaming so then i bought it again and then um last time when i tried to buy it i, I put two of them in the car by accident so then it was like oh you can only do one thingy so i took one off bought it um and then some because i was missing one of these games so then i bought it again just for the giveaway um because for the price is really good you get a lot of good games for a price um so for the giveaway it was worth buying um a couple times that, that's probably literally like the best bundle they got here so i bought it more than the other ones i only bought the other ones once this is a very good value for the price guys um all right so we got fanatical i also bought a, um the games i'm doing now for the uh giveaway are from fanatical because i still haven't finished doing the list for that um um nobody wants to help me type um write it uh if not i would have been done already um all right so also bought all these um except actually for um uh the 10-bit io that that one won't be in the giveaway um i might i might add it in the giveaway but um i don't know if it's actually going to give me a code or a download like the, the app or something so don't want to risk it i gotta look more into that um but the other ones i know are just theme codes but that one let me actually look at it now um because sometimes you'll buy something and then it'll be direct download it won't be steam deliver as a cd key that might be okay so um not a steam key though and we'll not activate on steam all right so that's one more trickier because you would have to actually like so that one i might just skip um and just keep doing the game bundles so yeah so i bought um one of each game bundle um i already have one of each for myself but i bought a second for the giveaway for the giveaway i bought one of each again guys so um uh yeah so this um this one this one this one this one and pope always usually are here they always keep coming back up the ones that don't come up, uh occasionally as much that i haven't seen is these three on top the snk doesn't come that often the um learn japanese been here for a while but i'll never see, uh, like once it disappears i don't know if it'll come back right back and then this one i haven't seen that much but the, the ones that i named here these uh six right here always always usually come back up like quick so so yeah guys so those three are what i use to buy and build up my i think i'm at 1900 now um like by the time i'm done activating my codes because i haven't even done my personal code so um yeah so if you look right there 1900 i'm up to that because i buy all these bundles guys um i don't the only like games that i would buy that would be like full price would be certain nintendo games or pc games that i really wanted to try and i know i'll put mad hours in um but if it's just a game that i want to play but not really into the franchise or know much about it i'm not gonna pay full price i'm gonna buy the cheaper games for bundles try them out review them um and then like the extra copies you know give out for you guys so yeah so that's pretty much it for now that i think um i can't really think about anything else i wanted to talk about um yeah i think that's pretty much it i think i covered everything in here um except for the setting stuff um but we can go back and check all right so yeah so the drivers are installed except this one i thought i was gonna finish um so yes so install your drivers guys um uh first okay so every time um that's another thing always upgrade your windows 
I know it's um like really easy to you know oh yeah update yeah but um if you don't update um you're not gonna get really good performance um since everything's gonna be either outdated or not have enough uh you know it's always good to be up to date with everything guys um if you want the computer to even run good because i know when the computer is outdated sometimes it doesn't even let me do browsing you know which should be simple um but yeah Oop, I, I, on that one i would have clicked no if i actually was able to see what it was i would have clicked no for the sharing thingy you want to not um join any anonymous analytic stuff on a budget um pc um or low spec pc or even a gaming pc you, you want to keep your computer is so that one i would probably go back and be like no so um know to all that stuff know that you don't want to send reports automatically no you don't, none of that stuff guys um no 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 all right um so yeah let me see um okay for storage that's another thing all right for storage here all right so we go where um so this one is only using i think a one one drive okay so options it lets me all right change and right here where it says quick access change to pc and then okay all right now close it or we're gonna close that again open it go down open it now you'll be able to see your hard drive so that's very useful all right so now that we got that um let me go back to where i was doing all right so settings system storage go right here all right if you had a computer that had multiple drives like this one this one is just a recovery image that is um it's uh how you call that partitioned to recover your computer i'm not talking about that i'm talking about like another drive the dr the drive e is just your cd and that's the one good thing about um budget pcs like laptops and pcs um they have a cd drive built in most of the time so also um you could do some like uh old school gaming you know get the disc um i see a lot of like drm free games in goodwill so um in thrift stores and stuff like that so i might pick up a couple just to try them out to see if they work because they don't require keys or anything like that um so yeah so i personally have a lot of cds somewhere around here so i'll find them and show you guys what kind of stuff i'm talking about for cds old school the old school way of adding games into your pc was with a cd so all right so if you have a flat uh external flash drive or a hard drive or a ssd or just extra drives in your computer what i'd recommend is go to settings and right here change that to the other drive don't do it on your recovery but change it on to either drive e c um i mean e d b whatever like anything else but c you know what i'm saying because c is where your um ssd is or your hard drive this is a hard drive but normally it would be your ssd so change it for your other thing so that that gets filled up and it keeps less um more space on your ssd so that it doesn't um you know get full and slow down so that other thing is good um and then that way you could put like your videos music some games in there but then keep your you know uh fortnite pubg kind of stuff like that on your ssd so the games that require basically um internet and are like online competitor games and stuff like that so all right so that's gonna uh reboot um it was gonna do it regardless of what i said um so yeah so and then like i said intel um extreme uh tuning utility you could do that um that's another option i put it up there uh don't forget about the um the microsoft play store or the Microsoft Store, whatever they're called. Uh, Microsoft Store. All right. So, yeah. So, there's a lot of great games there that could be used with a controller. So, if you don't have a controller, recommend you pick one, uh, like a cheap one up or whatever. Xbox, PlayStation 1 is my my favorite. Or a Steam controller. Because um, the Steam controller works outside of Steam. So, recommend that. Um 
So yeah, so keep in mind this computer is running on a hard drive, so it might not be as fast as other laptops or budget laptops in there, but another great option to get better performance is swap it out with SSD and then you're good to go. Um, but yeah, to get the best gaming out of a budget laptop, um, NVIDIA GeForce Now, Shadow, Parsec, um, or Rainway if you have a computer that already has games in there and could run it. Um, so it'll probably be the best experience you'll get from a low spec PC. Another great option is, you know, emulation, like I said earlier. Oh, PlayStation Now. Um, you could be able to stream, like, PlayStation 3 games, uh, PS2 games, PlayStation 1 games. Um, you know, like, remastered and very good quality. The response is really good. I played um, Mortal Kombat, and I love playing Mortal Kombat. So I have a video where I was playing it one-handed and still won like so you get really good um really good service with that one it's not pc games but they have a great cat um catalog of games um and i believe they're actually trying to um put it all together into the um playstation plus service so that'd be good um but yeah so try the seven day trial and i don't know how long this is gonna take but i hope uh Hope this helps some people with something um if you want and more individual or detailed about certain things i talked about or some more in detail stuff then let me know so i set it up with no password and stuff no personal information in here and it just starts up man it just i prefer not to put a password in the computer but um if you live in a place where you don't want people to touch your computer or risk of death or anything like that then put a password but i'm not worried about those stuff um so I don't put passwords, not in my GPD. The only one that has passwords is on my Alienware. But that's just because it's more expensive and, you know. But on the rest of my devices, even my home PC, my thing is a brick. I have a, a Corsair, Corsair 5, 540 Air case on it. It's huge, heavy. I don't feel like nobody's going to walk off with that or, you know. So I'm not really worried about other people actually getting into it either, so... But yeah, the Alienware, yes, because I carry the Alienware in my backpack. You know, sometimes I put the backpack down, so um, it's not going to prevent them from them switching out the hard drive and getting access to it, but at least my personal information will be saved. So yes, but for stuff like this, where I'm just going to only use it for gaming, no personal information, you know, um, then I should be good. See how long this takes to load up all the stuff in the bottom. It's a hard drive, so good luck. I'm actually going to load up um, DRM free games also in here because like I said this is going to be like um, I'll have NVIDIA GeForce Now in here um, and for for doing most of the heavy gaming I'll do GeForce Now only that way I save storage space and get better performance anyways than I would on this computer so um, and then I'm going to download all my DRM free games and then I'll load it up with um, like launch box. So this this little machine is gonna do a lot for only being a cheap, you know, like a cheap uh, uh, Best Buy computer. You know, um, it was very cheap. Um, so yeah, so with this little thing, I'll be able to do GeForce now, which is like Fortnite, PUBG, Call of Duty, um, Overwatch, you name it, anything. It's GeForce now is gonna play any any PC game. Um, better than probably my Alienware could do it. You know what I'm saying? So, um, and then my DRM free games so that I could play it literally offline. Uh, so that I don't have to log into any client, none of that stuff. I know some games you could play offline on Steam and all that stuff, but it requires you logging in and stuff. I'm most, I mostly just installed Steam for the thing because I probably won't be using it. Maybe to purchase games or something, but I might not even use it. I might just leave it there for decoration. Um, because I mostly be um, GeForce now on this thing. Um, 
and uh, what else? Um, so yeah, so Launchbox, Retroarch, um, DRM free games, and I, I actually I might also do movies for this. Um, so really cool. Because it has, um, it, I know it uses only a hard drive, but it has a one terabyte. I could always swap it out for a two terabyte um, hybrid, but a one terabyte's perfect for what I'm going to use it for. So, even though it's a low spec PC, I'll yeah, use part of it. So, that's good, guys. All right. So, thank you guys for watching and joining um, the live stream. Appreciate it, guys, for commenting. Um, hey, um, not Gamer Jack. Um, so yeah, so welcome guys and uh, thank you for watching uh, stay tuned. I will be back again it's Too early. I got too much stuff that I wrote down to do videos of so I'll be back on um, different different content guys So that's why I do it live just so I could get it out the way you get you know, you get to interact um ask live questions especially when um You know when I'm not live guys. I'm very busy. I got a couple projects going on for business personal you know so um i will get to your messages and your comments um sometimes it just takes longer so it's kind of good to just come live and you know yeah bombard me i don't mind <laughs> you know especially when i'm live that means i'm available guys so yeah so appreciate it guys um and i'll see you thank you for joining